Welcome everybody to this little extra video on magic for Final Fantasy 2. Uh, Final Fantasy 2 has one of the more interesting magic systems in the series, shall we say. Uh, probably one of the reasons why it's not as enjoyed as much, as it's a, a bit tedious and a bit difficult to work with. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to explain some stuff to you. So, first one we're going to start off with is fire. First thing to understand is that uh, there's this category called families, and this is how Final Fantasy II handles weaknesses, because there are different kind of families, and we'll see them all as we go through. Certain spells are grouped with this family, so rather than enemies being specifically weak to a specific um, spell, they'll be weak to the family of that spell. Next is what happens when you cast it against all. When you cast against all, it will severely reduce either the chances of succeeding or damage, whatever style it uses, whether it's an attack spell or it's just meant to damper or uh, whether it's buffs or debuffs. So, fire. Name, fire. Part of the family, fire. Flex fire damage, and level up effect is greater the damage. So the higher the level, the more damage you'll do. Easy enough. Next we have Ice, or Blizzard, that is the Ice family. Flex out Ice damage, and level up effect is greater damage. Bolt, or Thunder, part of the Bolt family, uh, inflicts Thunderbolt damage. Great, uh, greater damage on level up. Yeah, just get those out of the way, because they're all the same thing. Next one is Banish, or Warp. This is part of what's known as the Metamorph family. Uh, what this one will do is used in battle. It will remove the character, or an enemy, or a target, whoever it is, from battle. It's a lot like death, but uh, different, I guess. But when used in outside of battle, it will return you to the previous floor. The level up effect is a greater chance of success, so the higher the level, the more likely it will work on the target. Next is Aura. Aura is part of the... is one of the few interesting ones that where the effect differs on the level. So, the effect, it boosts attacks against foe. And level up uh, effect is greater chance uh, of success and increased attack power. Now, what Aura is, is it adds the ability to do extra damage to certain enemies. So it's kind of like the spell blades of later Final Fantasy. So level 1 will be more effective against beast en enemies. Level 2 will be more successful towards aquatic enemies. 3 against earth. 4 against giants. 5 against spellcasters, so like mages and stuff like that. 6 is against dragons. That can come in a lot of handy because there are a lot of strong dragons in the game. And 7 werebeasts. Uh, I don't know why werebeasts is so high up on the chain, because like, I can't imagine you defeating them. But it doesn't really matter because the fact is, level 7 does not work in the enemy version. Next one is Berserk Power. No family. Unlike later things where Berserk where you can't control the character, this one is slightly different. This one basically just increases your attack power. Uh, level up effect is greater chance of success, as well as the attack power will increase significantly. Drain, or Fizz. No family. It absor basically absorbs HP from a target. A uh, level up, uh, up effect, the greater amount of HP you will receive. Osmos, or Psyche, no family, absorbs MP, just like Drain. On level up, greater amount of uh, absorption, so you'll get more MP back. Um, unfortunately, Osmosis is 
a little bugged, I believe. Oh, no, no, sorry, that's another spell. Up Upmosis works just fine. Poison. Bane. It is part of the poison family. It is, uh, it basically inflicts poison damage, so they'll drain their HP the over time. Level up effect, greater chance of success, and greater HP damage per turn. So the enemy will start to lose more, da uh, lose more HP with, uh, each turn after uh, when it's leveled up. Next is Muddle, or Confuse. It is spirit magic. There's quite a lot of spirit magic usually associated with uh, status debuffs and stuff. Effect confuses target, obviously, so they hit random people. Level up of success. Uh, level up uh, effect is simply just a greater chance of succeeding. Curse. Curse is a spirit magic. Lowers. It basically lowers the attack power. It's a lot like uh, an early version of uh, Power Break. And basically just a level up success, um, greater chance of success. It also lowers the, the attack more, so the attack will become less and less, the higher the ability. Next is Sleep, and is Spirit. Obviously puts your enemies to sleep so they can't attack. If you attack them, it will uh, they'll wake back up. Uh, level up effects, greater chance of success, and I believe it lasts longer as well. Because it's not a, it, I believe it will last longer the higher the spell is. Blind. It's paralysis type. Paralyzed type, sorry. Effect. It lowers the accuracy. Level up effect, greater uh, greater chance of success, and greater decrease of the person's accuracy, target's accuracy. Doom, death, or rub, depending on which game you're playing. Part of the Doom family, it's the only one of the Doom family. Basically, it kills your target rate of, uh, kills your target, but no matter what HP is. Level up effect is simply just the greater chance of succeeding. Toad? Yeah, I know he's ugly as hell, but... Toad is a metamorphosis. Turns your enemies into Toad. It's basically an instant death attack, but slightly different. The only difference than the level up effect is that it's got a greater chance of succeeding. Nothing fancy. Break, break, or stone? It's a metamorphosis type, and it petrifies the target, it's turning them basically to stone, so it's another KO type. Level up effect, greater chance of success. Haste, or fast. No family. Basically what it does is increases the damage multiplier, that's the little one that says hit times two, four, whatever, that's, that, the higher that number is, the higher damage you'll cause. Uh, and the level up effect is greater chance of success and a greater multiplier. So it might only add one multiplier if you use on level one, they'll probably want to add two, three, four as the levels go up. Stop. It's part of the metamorphosis family. Uh, I think that might be a mistake. I think it's probably more part of the Paralyzed family, I think more, but oh well. That pretty much stops the targets from taking any actions. And level up is simply just a greater chance of success. Stun is a paralysis family. In fact, paralyze, which pretty much prevents your target from moving for a short time. And the level for up effect is obviously just a greater chance for success. Now we come to the big one for Black Magic. Flare, or Nuke. Has no family. It is a non-element, it's pretty much just a strong non-elemental damage. It's pretty good to use. 
and uh, pretty much the level up effect is just greater damage. So that has been it for the black magic. We will move on to the white magic. The first one is Cure. Cure has no family. It basically just restores your HP so you don't die. And the level up effect has a greater uh, amount of HP loss. This will also, you know, if you're casting it on all, this will also increase the amount of all, obviously, too. But keep in mind, all is only a fraction of what the actual thing would be. Our next spell is Life. Revives a character from the KO status. Pretty simple. Now, in the NES version, I think KO status, whether it works or not, is is random, I think it's percent based, and I think it's also based on the level you're at. So the higher the level effect, the greater chance it will succeed. And also it will revive with a greater amount of HP. So at a low level it might only upgrade to one. One HP and up later it might get like three, four, five hundred HP or more. Next is Insuna, or Heal in the translation. No family. It removes permanent status effects. There's two kinds of status effects in Final Fantasy II. Permanent ones, ones that will remain after battle, and temporary ones, ones that go away after a couple of turns. Uh, level up effects. Uh, greater chance of success. At level 1, you're able to cure poison and dark. At level 2, you're able to cure curse. At level 3, you're able to cure Amnesia, which is a stronger version of Silence. Level 4, you're able to cure Toad, and level 5, you're able to cure Stone. I also heard level 6 or more as a chance of also reviving dead characters. Also, cast all must be one level above. So say you have your whole party poisoned, well, it would have to be at least level 2 to work. Next one is Basuna, for beep in the translation. No family. Removes temporary status effects, so this is like sleep, stun, uh, paralyze, stuff, stuff like that. At level up uh, effect is greater chance of success. It will cure at level 1, it will cure venom. Just like poison, but it's a sta it's temporary. Uh, sleep, level two, level three, silence, level four, mini, level five, paralyze, and level six, confuse. Uh, just like Antuna, it has to be at least one level above to cure. All, if used as all, it's got to be at least one level above to cure the uh, rest of your party. Next is Wall. There's quite a few, shall we say, um, buffs, and they can get a bit confusing. The first one is Wall. Wall increases the black your black magic defense, or not so much increases. I'll explain it in a minute. But a level up effect, greater chance of success, and. Um, greater chance of uh, decreasing the damage. Um, one of the things it does do is it will resist or block any spell that is the same or lower than its level. So a level 3 fire will be blocked by a level 3 wall. Next is shell. Increases your, mag your basic magic defense level up effect is greater chance of success and greater increase in the defense so magic won't cause as much damage next is shield protect or fog no family increases your physical defense level up is simply a greater chance of success and greater increase in your defense however in the NES version it only works against the caster. That's why I suggest putting it on Gus, because 
with mixed with the bug with the two middle characters getting attacked, and if you put Marie in the back row, Gus will pretty much be uh, one of the high level, one of the high people to get attacked. So it's kind of like primitive provoke. That's why Gus will end up with the most HP, and that's why you should give shield to him. Next is barrier, Remember, shield. Yeah, I know, it's kind of getting a bit confusing. As no family, uh, what it does is it decreases special attacks, level up uh, effect, includes a greater chance of success, and protection increase. Now the first one is the remakes, while the first one is what it works on in the original. Uh, at level 1, it protects against matter or cold spells. Level 2, fire or paralysis. Level 3, mind or poison. Mind, I think, means like amnesia. Or mute, I'm not sure, stuff like that. Level 4 works against lightning or death. Level 5 works against death or lightning. And level, uh, level 6 against poison and confused. And level 7 with body and flame. Now, I believe what matter is, is a special attack, like a lot of the enemies have like the bow attack. That's what I believe a special attack is, and the body, I'm not sure what that is. The matter attack, sorry. The body, I'm not sure what, I think that's like a, it's enemies do body blows or something. Uh, in the NES version, level 8 will not protect you against cold, remember that. Next one is blink or ruse, no family, increases your evasion about it, and greater chance for success in a level up effect. Nothing fancy. Fear. I know I, I couldn't really draw a bunch of little skulls or anything like that, so it's a bunch of wavy lines. Family uh, is paralysis, paralysis uh, effect, causes target to flee. That's kind of useless because you want the enemy, but I mean if you're facing off with against uh, weaker enemies that you're just tired of dealing with, but not a bad one to use. Um, level up effect is just greater chance for success. Phase, Wrath, Rasp, and Anti. The Spirit Magic, what it does is it reduces the target's MP. Level up effect, greater chance of success, and greater amounts of MP loss. In the NES version, MP over 256 are unaffected or not affected as much. Uh, next one is Silence or Mute. For the Paralysis family, effect is, um, effect is unable to cast magic. And the level up effect, greater cause of success, or greater chance for success, sorry. Next is Fog or Loss. This is spirit magic, and it inflicts amnesia. Like I said, amnesia is basically the stronger version of silence. Silence is like a temporary, you know, a temporary skill. Level up effect, a greater chance of success. Next is mini. It is part of the metamorphosis family. And basically it shrinks your target, decreasing their attack and defense. Level up effect, greater chance of success. Slope. It is a paralysis, and it decreases the attack multiplier. So it's basically the opposite of haste. A level up effect, greater chance of success, and greater descent in the attack multiplier. Effectively lowering the enemy's attack. Dispel, or extra. Uh, no family removes beneficial effects, so like sh uh, shield, barrier, or berserk stuff like that. Level up is a greater chance for success. Now in the NES version, it doesn't work like that. What it does is it makes it was meant to make enemies weaker to certain spells. That's how it worked. But in the updated version, it works like traditional spells. Teleport, or warp, or exit. This is a metamorphosis type, 
and it warps you out of a dungeon when used outside of battle, and removes target when used inside of battle. And the level up effect is greater chance of success. Now, keep in mind, if you use this to escape from a dungeon, whoever used it is going to have a very small amount of HP, usually in critical amount. Uh, next is Swap or Change. Family is Metamorphous. It, uh, it effectively switches the caster's M HP MP with the targets. Level up is simply a greater chance of success plus more. Um, you can't really get more HP or MP because you simply switch what they have. So if the enemy has 5 HP, you get 5 HP no matter what. So that's good. This is a good spell to use when you're uh, you're low on HP and you'll take a ton out of your opponents. But keep in mind, you'll only take out amount, the max amount of HP you have. So if you only have 300 HP, you'll only take out 300 HP. But be careful if your enemy has 0 MP. You'll take all your MP. And that could be disastrous. Next is Holy or Fade doesn't have a family, and pretty much just hits your enemies with a big ball of holy light. In fact, it's just simply a greater uh, amount of damage. Ultima, or Extel. This is basically a powerful magic. About all I can say. Level up, of, uh, level up effect is greater amount of damage. Now, how it's meant to work is the higher the more spells you have and the higher their level, the more damage Ultima will work. So if you have... you can hold 16 spells. If you have 15 spells, all at level 16, the highest level, then Ultima will be casting a really big chunk of damage. So, hopefully that has helped you with a little bit of understanding how these spells work. If there's any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll try to answer them to the best effect, because this is one thing I've, I've had problems with, is I can't find any solid information on how spells work, so I've had to piece it together from everything I've read. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye.